name is Jessie and today we're going to make a video about uh, ways that you can speed up your Maya workflow. So what are the keyboard shortcuts you should know, how to select things, and what are the secret menus that you can find with your mouse that will really make things go a lot faster for you. Alright, so we're going to start with some of the basic hotkeys um, that you should know to help you move uh, things around in your scene. So I'm going to make a cube here. So the first hotkey you should know is the Q button. This is your selection tool. You use this as your mouse to grab things. Um, you see up here, Q will activate the selection tool. W is your move tool. E is your rotate tool. And R is your scale tool. Now, this is just selecting and moving in object mode and there is a shortcut to switch between object mode and the different component modes. Now we see this in the modeling toolkit so normally you can kind of click on these buttons to switch between vertex, edge, and face mode but there's also a mouse shortcut that you can use to switch between these so that you can work a little bit faster. If I right click on my object It'll bring up this radial menu and I can go up to this corner to go to object mode or I can choose edge, vertex, or face. And then when you get into UVing, you can also use this to select your UV modes. So if I go to face mode, you can see that now I'm in face selection mode. One thing that I see that people activate by accident a lot of the time is soft selection mode. And so accidentally people might turn this on so it, you'll see something that looks like this. Your mesh is highlighted in yellow, but it's actually turned on and off using the B key. So that's when you tap B, just the B key, it'll turn on and off soft selection mode. And you know that it's on or off when your mesh is highlighted in yellow or not. The way that you can change the radius of your soft selection is by tapping B, so this turns it on, and I can make my soft selection fall off be greater or less by holding down the B key and clicking and dragging my mouse from side to side. Notice how this circle kind of increases and decreases in size. There's a few tools in Maya that use brushes, so if you're painting skin weights um, and you're using the brush for that, you can use that same hotkey, the B key, to change the size of your brush. So this is used in a few different tools. The next hotkeys that you should know about are the uh, display modes in Maya. So this is using the number keys to switch between how your mesh is being displayed on the screen. So for example, right now we're just in regular display, it's hard edges and you can see the gray shader. But if I hit three, that'll go to smooth mode. So three is smooth mode. Number one will bring you back to not smooth. So one and three are smooth and not smooth. Two gives you a sort of halfway in between. It'll show you the smooth mode, but also the edges of the original shape. If I want to view the wireframe of my mesh, I can hit the four key and that'll remove the shading and just show me the wireframe. If I want to bring back the shading, I hit five. So four is wireframe, five brings back the shading, and six, if you have textures, that will turn on your textures. Notice it's also this button in up top. So five and then six turns that button back on. The next uh, thing I wanna talk about is um, special modes of selection. So when you're working on a model, you might want to select a several faces or just one face um, and then like one next to it or you might want to select a ring of faces. Um, so how can you do that in the most efficient way that doesn't involve you kind of clicking them one at a time? In order to select one face, we can just click on that one. If we want to select several faces, we hold down shift and then keep clicking with our right mouse. Um, but if we want to select a ring of faces, you just click the first one and then you hold down shift and double click the one next to it and it will select all the way around. If I want to select just a portion 
of a ring of faces, and this also works for edges. I can select one, and then I say I want to select all the way around to this one. I just hold down shift and then double click on the one that's at the end of the selection, and it'll let me grab just that portion of the loop. So this can be really helpful. There's also a couple uh, mouse shortcuts that you can use to convert between selection types. So let's say I have these faces selected, but for some reason I want to actually select the vertices instead of the faces. So I want to select the vertices around these faces instead of the faces. Now, um, this can be done by using a kind of secret right-click menu. If you hold down the command key and then you right-click, it brings up this menu and it allows you to convert your selection. So right now I have faces selected and I can say, okay, two vertices and then two vertices and it converts it to the vertices of those faces. So I can do whatever I want here. And I can also, you know, convert into edge mode and there's a few different methods. So do you want the perimeter to the continuous edge to the contained edges? So you can play around with these to get kind of what you're thinking. But when I get this, it's like, if I just say two edges, it's like every edge that that vertex is touching. So there's a few different ways for you to kind of select one thing and then grab a different component selection. Um, you can also use, if I want to say, uh, expand my selection. So I want to grab, I want to take these and then grab all of the edges kind of outside of this, vertices outside of this. I can use the shortcut uh, shift and then period or shift and comma to expand or contract my selection. So this might be a little easier to see in face mode. So I can grab this one face, shift period, expands outward and shift comma, expand, uh, contracts it back in. So using these two methods of selection, so I can grab a ring of faces I can kind of expand it or contract it to select more or less of an area that I'm working on. The, the next thing that you can use hotkeys for is for snapping. Um, and this means if I'm moving something, I can snap it to grid points. So if I'm in the move tool, I can use either, it depends on what I'm snapping to, but if I want to snap to the grid, I can hold down the X key. And I know that I'm snapping because the little center of the move tool turns to a circle. And I can either snap on an individual axis or I can grab the middle of the tool and kind of snap it to anywhere on the grid here. So this can be really useful for aligning things. Um, I can also snap to components. So let's say I have a cube that I want to perfectly align on the corner of my other cube. Um, I can hold down the V key and this snaps in the exact same way as the X tool but instead of to the grid it's to the vertices of your mesh. So I can hold down V, my move tool turns to a circle and I can grab the center and snap it to the vertices. So notice how it's kind of being attracted to the edges of my other cube. This tool, the V snapping, is really useful when you are rigging so, for example, if I'm creating some joints here and I want to align a control with my joints, if I have my control here, I can snap it to the center of a joint by holding down the V key and dragging it over to that joint, and it'll be aligned perfectly with the center of that joint. So this is not only for modeling, but I use this tool, this snapping mode a lot when I'm creating controls for my rigs. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the secret right click menus in Maya and how those work. So when I'm modeling, there is a secret menu, holding down shift and then right clicking. Now, this right-click menu is context-specific, so the things that show up both in the radial menu and in this lower menu, it will change depending on what you have selected and what tool you have active. So right now, if I'm just in object mode, it's gonna try and guess 
to say, what are the most likely tools that you want to use in this circumstance? So right now it's like, oh, you're selecting a mesh, so you probably want to model something so I can activate my multi-cut tool and you know start to do my cuts here. So I can use my multi-cut tool. If I have a face selected and I shift and right click, there's a couple different options here. So it says, okay, maybe you want to extrude or merge or do something like this. Um, so you can select that tool. Now, most times I actually use this because it does a really good job of guessing about what you might want to do. I use this shift right click menu instead of going into the modeling toolkit because um, it's just much, much quicker. As I said, this, this secret menu changes depending on what you have selected um, and what selection mode you're in. So what component of your mesh you have selected and whether you have a joint selected or anything. So it, it's different almost every time. So I encourage you to explore what is showing up in that menu because it's really different um, across the board in my. The next key, the next hotkey I want to bring up is a hotkey to let you repeat the last tool that you used. And this can be really, really useful when you are modeling, say you're extruding several things or merging things together. Um, it could be really useful in rigging when you're creating several orient constraints in a row um, and you don't want to keep going back to the menu to say constrain. So this hotkey is G and G just reactivates the last tool that you used. So the last tool that I used was the extrude tool in this example. So if I just extruded, I can just hit G and it will reactivate the extrude tool to let me extrude again. So I can select something else and hit G and it lets me extrude again. So it's just much more quick than going to this menu and clicking extrude again and again. And the last hotkeys I want you to know about are the hotkeys to switch up your camera. So um, right now we're in perspective mode. So if we want to switch into say side view, um, I could go over here and click this four panel button and I could see my front top and side view. And in order to you know expand these windows, I could put my mouse over, let's say I wanna go into front view, put my mouse here and then I click spacebar and it makes that window much bigger. If I hit spacebar, it'll go back to the four panel and I can kind of pop in and out of these windows. But it's actually much faster to use a kind of weird um, key combination. So if I hold down spacebar, it brings up this menu that actually shows you all of the menus available in Maya, um, which is maybe useful, maybe not. But if I hold down spacebar and then I also right click, it brings up this radial menu that allows me to switch between the cameras that are displaying. So I'm in perspective mode, I can change my camera into my side view. So if I hold down spacebar, right click, I can go to my top view. I can switch back to perspective view. So it's just a much quicker way to switch between the different camera modes that doesn't require you to use this four panel view. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I hope now you will work much faster in Maya and I'll see you in the next video.